So these are a series of posters issued by the government in the 50s to inform the general public on the topic of personal hygiene. They're from the um, Education Museum at Leeds University. We're not sure who they were designed for and why they were displayed. Two key themes that are predominant in the seven posters of the Rules of Health are that of fresh air, and secondly of keeping clean, so washing and personal hygiene. Public health issues became predominant in the early 1800s when industrialisation and the living conditions of the lower working classes uh, were recognised as perpetuating illness and the spread of disease. At the turn of the 20th century, um, microbiology contributed to the realisation of the importance of personal hygiene. Um, so health education, such as these posters, um, were recognised as a way of informing the public and encouraging individuals to take responsibility of proving, improving their living standards and general well-being. In the late 1930s, the government sponsored a campaign for national fitness. Um, this coincided with the decision of the Senate of Leeds University to start providing the, the means of safeguarding the health of the universe, uh, university students. The main aim of the university was, in this respect was to make sure that the students could make the most of their education without being hindered by ill health. Um, the Student Health Service was not abandoned with the arrival of the NHS in 1948. The promotion of healthy living within the university, as well as um, government initiatives and the NHS, all contributed to the improvement of public health.